All right, guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am on my way up to Erie. A couple of issues and things happened this morning that I'm just not in a great mood. But the bright side is Ella is back there in her car seat. She's asleep. Thank the heavens because she has just been god awful all day. Um, I went into her room to get her up at 8 o'clock this morning. That's earlier than normal, so granted, yeah. But I went in there. She had her curtains ripped down. Her new curtain rod was bent. Uh, her diapers were all over the floor. Her wipes were all over the floor. She had gotten into her diaper cream, smeared it all over her dresser. So I had to clean that up first thing, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, so that obviously put me in a bad mood. Then we went outside when Tim got back because Tim left around 8 o'clock. Just he left, it was probably like quarter or five to eight. Um, he left to go pick up the tub and the surround from Home Depot. Um, so Tim got home and everything, and he just came inside because it's pretty hot out today. Um, it's 81 right now. Um, it's, it was, I think it was even hotter this morning, but anyways, um, he goes in, he cools down a little bit, you know, gets comfortable. Then we go out and we get the surround brought in, um, went out to get the tub, got it brought in and Tim's like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and open it see how I like the fit of it. We open it and it's broke. It wasn't a big break, but it was in a very noticeable spot. So, um, I took pictures of it. You guys can see it later. I'll show you guys once I'm done driving, but it was broke. So we had to get it packaged back up. It's back there. You guys can see the big old box. Um, and our local Home Depot, this was the last one. So now I have to go up to Erie, which I was already intending to go up to Erie, but I was going to take the Prius. It's better on gas. And I wasn't expecting to have to haul a tub. It checked, you know, it got it all ratchet strapped in. I got to go to PetSmart Return Chicken because I'm not getting him from there. Um, hey. He's like digging in his box. He's going back. I'm, um, no. Uh, we're just gonna get a different hamster. We're gonna get a Chinese dwarf hamster from Pet Supplies Plus. Um, so I'm gonna get a different cage and everything like that at PetSmart. Um, we're just, we're not dealing with it. We're not gonna have an aggressive hamster that Ella can't pet. Um, so chicken's in a box on the floorboard right now. I'm hoping he doesn't chew through the box. I put bedding, some food, and a chew in there, so hopefully he's good. Um, I'm going to go return him, go swap out the tub, get the new tub. Um, I'm going to have them open it so I can check it to make sure it's not broken. Um, but I'm going to get the new tub, and then I'm going to stop and get the new hamster from Pets pet supplies so that's the ultimate game plan um she like i said she fell asleep so that's fine by me she can take a little nap on the way up but i'm taking back roads because of this tub and all kinds of stuff so yeah. no you stop stop you stop no. <laughs> all right new tub is in old tub is it back uh, we just did an even exchange because it's the same exact tub, it's the same price, everything. So we just did an even exchange. You can see her feet. Um, she picked out this barn. Um, I'll show you guys a better picture and of the tub and everything. Um, so, let me get into my camera here. This is what she wanted. That's what we were originally going to get last time. However, they didn't have it. It was out of stock. Because, you know, why wouldn't it be? Um, so, she went with, she chose 
if it'll rotate now. This barn. So it's like a little barn cage. Um, and then she also chose the silo to go beside it. Um, it all connects together with like tunnels and stuff. So she got that as well. Um, they also had like a rocket ship and another generic type case cage, but just really sucked about the princess one because I was honestly really wet in that one too. Anyways, um, as far as the tub, so this is the tub. Ella was playing in it in the kitchen um, before we got it repackaged up. She just wanted to like we wanted to see how she liked it. This is where it was broke. So this entire part here busted off. And obviously we're paying like 600 bucks I think it was for that tub with the whirlpool feature and everything. And obviously we don't want to spend that much and have a broken tub. So I'm going to go over and get her some nuggets before we go to pet supplies to get the other hamster for that cage. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with the other cage at the moment. I don't know. Um, but that's what we're going to set up for the new pet. Um, so I'm going to go get her some McDonald's. I'm not going to get myself anything except maybe something to drink because I'm thirsty. But I will show you guys the pet once we receive him. Another thing to be added on to my beyond agitated day. I stopped at the post office today to get a package that I had from Amazon. It was shipped through USPS for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes that happens to me. Sometimes, most of the time, it's GPS. <sighs> I went to pick it up. They told me they couldn't find it. Then proceeded to say, oh, here it is, and gave me a package. I didn't think to look at the package because I didn't think anyone else in my family had a package over there. But it's for my mother-in-law and it's her medical supplies. So I still have to go over to the post office tomorrow and pray to God that they can find my package. Yay. All right guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me. She's back there eating a nugget. Say hi. You say hi? No? Okay. Um, but you guys can see we've got the barn silo and the barn um, cages that I showed you. We got the new hamster. I don't know. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see. I can barely see him, but I can kind of see him. Um, but I will just show you guys him when we get home. I got to hold him. He seems sweet. Um, I got to actually pick them out, unlike everything that happened at PetSmart. So, um, at PetSmart when we got chicken, they told me I wasn't allowed to hold him, that they weren't, you know, it's just not good for them to be held by different people, um, even though we were buying it. Um, we didn't get to go over to the cage to pick him out. Uh, the guy that we were talking to about him told us to go pick out the cage and the food and the water and everything like that for him and he would get the hamster in the box with some bedding and food and meet him or meet us up at the um front and that's where chicken was waiting for us so just everything about the whole pet smart experience did not go well over with me especially once we got home and he kind of snipped at me a little bit when we first got home. I figured it was just because it was an hour traumatic ride, you know? No big deal. I let him calm down. We kept her light off and everything like that to not bother her. Uh, or to not bother him, I should say. Um, and after two days, we really started letting Ella up on the dresser to see him and everything like that. But it was just the whole experience. He wouldn't let us hold him told us that it was policy and I the lady I talked to today that checked him out make sure he wasn't like dead or he wasn't like harmed or hurt or in any way um she checked him out and everything and she said that sometimes they can just be like grumpy old men and that when we got him 
There were three other ones in the cage and the guy probably just wanted to get rid of it um, so that he wasn't aggressing the other ones um, without consulting with us because she said it's policy if you are buying that pet, um, not not that specific one, but if you are like gung-ho, like ready to pay for this animal, they will let you hold it to make sure that it's a good fit for your family. And I told her, I was like, that's not what the guy told us. He told us it was policy that we weren't allowed to hold it until after we let him, you know, until after we had paid for it and everything. Um, and she said no, that if she's up at the small pets and she's getting an animal out for someone, she let like offers to have them hold it and pick out which one they want and everything like that. So um, that's exactly what they did here at Pet Supplies. They let me pick out out of the three. They looked all identical, but I still picked one. Um, and he got a hold of it and asked if I wanted to hold it. I held it, showed Ella. She was excited, gave it and put it into the box to buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hamster home. I gotta set up these cages and it might be a long process, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna be so excited, but I'm not gonna be able to stop at Walmart. It's already 6.39, the pharmacy closes at seven. Um, and Walmart, like the pharmacy closes at seven and it is about a 38 minute drive there. So I would have to crush it in 20 minutes, just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna get home and I will see you guys when I get home after everything and I'll show you guys the new hamster. All right, so tonight for dinner. Um, like I said, quite a few people asked what we were making with chicken. I'm frying up some chicken right now. It's four after 10. Tim is just now leaving to come home from work. But it's just gonna be chicken. I'm gonna shred it up. And we're gonna make like chicken tortillas out of it. Um, but we were at the store the other day, um, at Sharp Chocolate, and I saw these. They're high fiber carb lean tortillas. Um, it says they're extreme wellness. It says a better choice for your health. Um, 100% whole wheat and flaxseed. Um, so out of everything, it says there's 15 grams of carbs per, tor per tortilla, but, um, 11 grams of those are fiber so only like four grams is not you know not fiber um <clears throat> but i figured i'd give these a shot and see how i like them and then see if i if we do like them see if i can get these at walmart i'm not sure i've never seen them at walmart um but find somewhere that i can get these they were 3.49 for a pack of eight tortillas which is kind of pricey but on each side of, like on one side of each tortilla because I take two and put them together and then cut it into fours. Um, we take this, which is mayo and taco seasoning. That's it. This sauce is bomb. I don't like mayo, but I love this sauce. Um, and then we're just adding a little bit of sharp cheddar to it. Um, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, I've made these a whole bunch of times, um, but never with these new tortillas. Um, and this is what Tim is counting as his side. Um, so he's just gonna have a tortilla. It's gonna be two tortillas put into one sandwich type thing. You know, so it'll be um, tortilla, sauce, chicken, he, uh, not ham, chicken, 
cheese sauce tortilla smashed together and that's gonna be his dinner and that's gonna be mine too so that's what we're having um I will show you guys and then, okay so after I assemble it I spray the pan with cooking spray put the tortilla in there toast it up just a little bit and then flip it over spray the pan flip it and then everything like that the cooking spray we use is coconut oil um it says that there's zero of everything in this or we use olive oil the olive oil is not our favorite um we honestly don't even care for this luana stuff but the coconut cooking spray that i used to get at dollar tree they stopped carrying it we used it up all that we had um and we have two local dollar trees and then there's even, I think, two or three of them up in Erie. Um, I know there's at least two up in Erie, and we've eaten or tried them too, and they just don't have them. So the only other option is the Luana brand from Walmart. Um, it's the only other kind that we like. Like I said, we don't even care for it that much. We prefer the Dollar, Je or Dollar Tree stuff. The stuff was just... It was so good. It got many things nice and crispy. Didn't leave too much of a flavor or anything like that. It was like perfect. And you couldn't go wrong for a dollar a can. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Couldn't go wrong with a dollar a can. I used to buy like three to five at a time because we used it so much. Um, as opposed to this Luana stuff. Sure, it lasts longer maybe twice as long, but it's also like $4 a can, um, which isn't as good. But anyways, I'm gonna cook this chicken, get it shredded, and then get the tortilla, like chicken, chicken quesadillas assembled. And I don't, I'll try to show them, but if Tim comes home, I probably won't. So if you guys don't see anything after this, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. But. You may see me in two seconds. <laughs>